What is going on everybody? I am John from JFM Development. Here at JFM Development, we're all about the community, helping you learn how to mix, do DIY, and just generally anything to help you out. Now if you're new to DIY, make sure you check out the JFM Development Just Friggin' Mix group. It's a group on Facebook that has a collective of mixers just like yourself who can help you learn how to get started in DIY and get you uh, through your first steps in case these videos aren't giving you everything you need. Plus, sometimes it helps to talk to an actual person on the other side. Believe me, I started there before too, so I understand. But today's a very exciting day. You know, Liquid Barn sent me another new flavor to try and to sample and to give my feedback on. So they sent me the Tastemakers kit uh, from Liquid Barn. They sent me the Pina Colada flavor. <laughs> This pina colada fla flavor is very exciting. I used to work at Orange Julius when I was a kid, and I used to make a whole bunch of different smoothies. It was my first job when I was 14 years old. I used to make strawberry banana smoothies, pina colada smoothies, triple berry smoothies, and the list goes on. So, so this is very exciting to see how close this uh, single flavor got. Now, uh, this channel is not new to the Taste Makers Kit. I'm going to link in the description in the video and possibly in a card video to my original video on the Taste Makers Kit. Basically, the Taste Makers Kit, it comes with a 60 ml bottle of flavoring. It comes with the Taste Makers card so you can properly measure it. You know, it gives you the proper percentage you need. Basically, you line up your unicorn bottle right here. You put it up to the card and it has like a list of all the... Uh, different measurements to put in there and you fill the bottle up then you fill it up with your PGVG Nick base or you could just use it as uh, flavoring itself and add more flavorings in it's really as far as you want to take it and that's the beautiful thing about it but without further ado let's get started into this and let's try ourselves some island paradise pina colada and yes they gave an umbrella with it which is pretty rad pretty rad so basically, guys, I did steep this uh, pina colada for about a week and a half, about almost two, probably like two weeks now. So this has been steeping. There's no nicotine in it. It's just literally uh, PG, VG, and the recommended percentage of 16% uh, pina colada flavoring. Now, on Liquid Barn's website, Liquid Barn says they have the pina colada for 15 mil. You can get it for 275. For a 60 mil, you can get it for $8.99. For a uh, flavor cartridge, which is what I have here, which comes with the unicorn bottle, the taste maker's card, a label, and a 60 mil flavoring, costs $9.99. So pretty much, it, that's a good deal. You get you get a, a free bottle with it, if, even if you don't want to use it like a taste maker's and you want to just add flavors to it separately. So so that's a good deal. Now. Here's the flavor description Liquid Barn's giving us. They're giving us it's a tropical blend of pineapple and coconut cream made for relaxing on a uh, sunny island shore. Hmm. Interesting. So, I have this dripped on my atomizer. Let's try it out. Let's see how it tastes. On an island in the sun, we'll be Definitely. This thing is awesome. I love it. Tastes good. Uh, to the flavor profile, it's supposed to be a blend of uh, pineapple and coconut cream. Yeah, definitely. I get the pineapple, I get the coconut, and I get the cream. It does taste like coconut cream, so that's great. You know, uh, me and DIY Vapor were talking about this the other day with Liquid Barn flavorings and how they're just very well putting together straightforward flavors such as strawberry cheesecake, their uh, cream brulee, their the list goes on. But like just like those, this one nails it out of the park again. It tastes like a nice pina colada. If you're into pina coladas and you love that flavor, this is a no nonsense way to get there. I wouldn't even do anything to it. I would just do it by itself. Put it at 16%. You don't even need to add more flavors to it, but you could if you want to. So the question is, would I recommend this flavor? 
Yes, definitely. Two thumbs up. Best pina colada flavoring I've tried. I'm not sure if there are many other ones. I know I tried other pineapple flavors and stuff like that, and I've even attempted to make pina colada, but this one is a pretty straight forward way to get there, and it tastes great, and it's available now, and it's cheap. So even if you want to start off with a 15 mil, pick it up, 275 and if you use JFM15, you get 15% off your purchase. They have excellent deals on flavors. They have bottles. They have Liquid Barn hooks it up. They, they help out the community. They have great products. It's a win. The flavor's a win. Go check them out. I, this is John from JFM Development. Thank you so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to support JFM Development, make sure you check the links in the description. I have a new Patreon page that's up. And new Teespring merch if you want to get some JFM t-shirts. That would be awesome. Alright, until next video, have a great day.